Hi, welcome back. Let's do some more interferometry. The math sender interferometer has two input and two outputs. Light from one single source is emitted into the interferometer. A beam splitter splits the light from the source into two different paths. These two paths then recombine light later via a second beam splitter. Here we can have two screens or two detectors to study the interference. The reason why this interferometer has two paths is to compare the light following each path and study the differences that you can place between both paths. For example, imagine you want to measure the index of refraction of a gas. You would put two identical cells, one in each path. To one of them you would remove slowly the gas to observe the shift in the fringes on the screen. Light following both paths goes through two full beam splitter, independently of which screen it'll end up hidden. As we will see later in this course, when light is reflected by a mirror or of higher index of refraction than the medium that light is traveling from, there is going to be a pi phase shift. In a beam splitter, we can have a dielectric coating. When light is reflected off from one side, there will be a pi phase shift. When it is reflected off at the other side, there will be no phase shift. With this at hand, if we follow the trajectory of the upper path going to screen 1, we see that light is reflected by the first beam splitter, then by a mirror, and finally by the second beam splitter. There is a total of two pi phase shift. Light that follows the bottom path is reflected by one mirror, so there is only one pi phase shift. Light going to the other screen via the top path experiences two reflections with a total of two pi phase shift. Light going to the other screen via the low path experiences also two pi phase shift. This will lead to a pi phase shift between screen 1 and 2. There we'll see bright fringes on one screen, we'll see dark fringes on the other and vice versa. The good thing of this interferometer is that you can add something to one path and not the other and use the interferometer to explore that particular object. Mach Sender interferometer has applications in aerodynamics as you can compare thermodynamic properties of fluids by placing them in one of the paths. It has also applications in fundamentals of quantum mechanics. If you send single photons to the interferometers, the photon will interfere with itself, showing the wave-particle duality. You can also use this interferometer in quantum communications. If you send single photons and then apply a pi phase shift to one of the paths, you can use this to encode bits of information. You would be changing the output port of the photon that way. May science be with you.